So uh, we have the clown and we'll have arena. And if I can get everything working here, perfect. All right, so in the blue for Norway, we have the Viper, Viper playing as the Mayans. Um, in the green, we have MBL, MBL is playing as the Saracens. Oh God, oh God. Okay, I had a conversation with Daniel and Scotty about this. We said they can't, like if we ever face up against Norway, they can't straight up troll us, troll us, but if we see they have Mayans and Saracens in their draft, we have to ban one of them. <laughs> because this is going to be... This is going to be like Bombard Archer time, people. This, this is Saracens. So Saracens have the extra damage uh, output on buildings with their archers. And then Mayans with Obsidian Arrows, which is a unique tech out of the castle, have plus six against buildings. So this could be just some of the strongest archers you've ever seen in this game. And I'm... I'd just like to say once again, I'm very grateful that we're facing up against Vietnam and not Norway so far in the group. <laughs> and we still could face off against Norway. Uh, but yeah, I, I do not envy the position of Draken and Yezris here. Uh, now, Draken's Spanish. So the expectation here is probably to see conquistadors from Draken. And then Yezris is Berbers. Do you think they both go unique unit? It sounds crazy, but maybe Camel Archer and Conquistadors? Or maybe you just have Yezris go for uh, Knights. In late game, you've got Camel Archers, you've got Conquistadors, you've got Spanish Trade Bonus, you've got Paladins. There's a lot of good things for the uh, the civilizations that Draken and Yezris have. It's Arena, we have a lot of time to talk about things, so maybe this would be a good time for questions if you guys have them. And I almost feel like the... It's likely that this individual game goes to YouTube, so I will just point out that the round of 16 onwards will all definitely be public and posted on YouTube immediately. The group stage, because there's so many sets, I think I'll have a lot of it unlisted, but I won't have like the full sets up unless they're really competitive. Whiskey loving gentleman says, T90, do you love me? I do. Very good question there. Bio, uh, I'm going to read this real quick. Bio says, T90, bless America, the scouts that I love. Stand beside her to guide her through the towers with the light from above. From the town centers to the prairies to the ghost lake white with foam. T90, bless America, my farm's sweet farm's golden cap. Thank you. That was beautiful, Bio. Beautiful anthem. We will we'll sing that before our tournament games. Silly Mongoose Serena says, can we donate to the prize pool? I'm not taking, um, it's not, it's not crowdfunded with, um, like smaller donations because it's very hard to track that. But if the best way for you to contribute to the tournament, like let's say you're Mr. Moneybags out there and you want to contribute a lot to the number we have is contact myself or an admin personally and or uh, sub to the stream or gift subs to the stream because $1 for every sub goes into the prize pool. So. I, I send that along myself. Also, keep in mind that the finals won't be till the 20th of December. So technically, like, if you sub now, that sub's not going towards the prize pool because it's whatever we have at the end. So just want to clarify that. So my guess is it's going to be Fast Castle. I mean, it's Arena, so it has to be. You almost know what Norway are going to do here. So what do you do to counter in this situation? Go Skirms? Janitors! Janitors! That could be awful. <laughs> or amazing, because it's a mounted skirmisher. I'd like to see it. I feel like the common consensus is that janitors aren't the best right now. What buffs slash nerfs do you expect in the new patch? I don't, to be honest, my I don't really care. Okay, the new patch isn't really important to me right now, because this tournament is going to be played across the board on the balance we have at the moment. And this is a massive tournament which spans for the next month. So there will, like, and I also want to speculate on things only regarding the tournament as far as questions go. So yeah, when the new balance comes out, it'll affect some ranked games and I'll probably make some videos on it. But largely, it's not going to affect a very important tournament, so it's not a big deal for me right now. What is this from Draken? Draken's on the way to Feudal. Drac. You see the signals there. 
Yezris is signaling Viper's base. But si. villagers are going si. forward. Si. So maybe Draken wants to tower Viper and pressure Viper? That... I feel like it's a really bad strategy for many reasons. First off, why not have the Berber villagers go forward because they're faster? Second, why are we trying to tower the person that's in the north of the map? Like, he's even further away. And there's no third. That's actually my main concern. But also, I think if you want to beat a top team, you have to go for some wacky stuff. You can't just play meta against them, so... As MBL is going to lose this scout, he did point this out to Viper and let Viper know what's happening. It'll probably be a tower on the walls, and then the villagers will batter down the walls and try and break in. But I feel like Viper can just wall behind and then eventually drop a castle to take the towers out. But maybe if you open up Viper's base and then have Yezris go in the knights, you could try and kill Viper. That might be the logic. Thank you, Chicken Flavor, for the prime. Silly Mongoose Serino. It's not worth the, like extra couple hundred bucks or whatever would happen if we were to, to crowdfund the rest of the prize pool because of all the, the hoops you have to jump through, taxes, exchange fees, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I, I have it structured like I do. But yeah, obviously, like I said, if you if you really want to contribute a lot, talk to me and we can figure something out. But ultimately, like we're at a time where it's really awesome that Microsoft wanted to put up how much they did. Um, I feel fortunate that you guys support me as much as you do. So I don't, three years ago, four years ago, tournaments didn't happen if people weren't taking out of their own pockets to, to gift and, and all that. But nowadays, I, I I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like you guys should just, I don't know, buy some popcorn and watch the show. <laughs> the Draken looking to break through. Draken will break through. It's taken a long time. And Viper now... I mean, as was the plan, market blacksmith to go up to Castle Age. I think the best tower here for Draken's probably right here to take Viper off that gold. Viper has a gold here. Viper has a gold here. Viper has a gold here. This will deny a farm. But not much else. I still think Viper can up to Castle Age. Viper's just 60 food away. Wall in Viper and then kill MBL. That'd be funny, actually. The Legend of Wall strategy. Because, well, I mean, Spanish do wall faster. It just, the main risk here is that Viper is going to send more villagers to stone. When he gets up to Castle Age, he's probably going to drop a castle. And then just shoots all the towers down, so. But, yeah, look, there's a stable here. Okay, so the thought process is to have Yezra's kill Viper. So they've opened up Viper's walls. And now Yezris is going to go double stable knights to try and kill Viper. This is a good strategy. I'm not saying it will work. But this is actually a good strategy if you're up against a top team like this. And the thing about these strategies is that it either works and looks amazing or it doesn't work and looks really bad. So you just have to keep that in mind. It's very risky to go against the meta like this. So if it doesn't work, don't be too harsh. <laughs> Because you cannot play standard and expect to win against these guys. And so Draken. I also... It's a bit of a shame because if USA ever has to play check B... Oh, tower hop! They're in, baby! If, if we ever have to play check B, they're not going to play against Daniel and I like this. <laughs> so there's... This is smart from them too because there's absolutely like no intel for the team that will face them next in the group. There's a tower. Viper's pretty greedy to not even build one tower. But Viper now has enough stone for a castle. Where does Viper place it? Look at look at Viper's economy. Is he... Here? Oh, there. Oh, block it with the scout! <laughs> block it, run back and forth. Micro! Oh, that was funny. I mean, there was no way you could realistically deny that forever. So now Viper has every single villager building the castle. Every single one. Take notes, doubt. I mean, the castle's gonna go up, and maybe we won't see obsidian arrows, but we will see plumes. And here come the knights, but there's no way for the knights to get in. So it looks excessive from Viper to build the castle like that. 
but ooh, he could have trapped close. Yeah, I actually think it makes a whole lot of sense because if you take risks and are passive with that castle, then the knights get in. And now Yezris is all these knights, but Yezris is all in one TC, and so Yezris, well, there's the second TC. It can't do much with the knights. MBL's on 38 villagers with three town centers. So MBL's eco should be way better. And then, of course, there's Draken, who uh, does still have some forward villagers that could go down. And Draken is still in feudal. So I don't know, like, do you attack MBL's walls here? MBL's just booming. MBL's might as well be playing Black Forest right now. I think you have to pressure MBL now. Attack the gate and, and force some type of reaction from him. Draken's going to take this stone. That's not something I would have expected. But you know what could be really good, actually? If MBL is worried about the knights and goes into camels... Actually, no, that's not good. Like, I was thinking that maybe you know they're going camels and then you counter camels, but there's not. I suppose Spanish can go halberdier. But I feel like camels are top tier against conks and against knights. So actually, this is a perfect spot for Saracens. MBL now with 51 villagers. So massive lead for Norway. And Draken sending villagers forward. Is this going to be a castle drop then? It's got to be, right? Oh, God. Okay, guys. So fun fact. Um, in tournaments past, Sling was very, very... Uh, it was... It was almost meta, right? I think back to the first Battle of Africa, it was a 3v3 tournament. You'd have like one or two players sending resources to allies instead of fighting. In the 2v2 World Cup, it's allowed in Castle Age onwards. And if you saw Norway, or sorry, Netherlands versus Germany, when it was Netherlands versus Germany, there was no, no, no one was even thinking of slinging because you have to have military. Now, here we have Norway against <laughs> you have norway against check b it's a big skill gap and mbl has been full booming and mbl just researched coinage which reduces the tax when he sends resources over to an ally so mbl is using all the 62 villagers to collect resources and send a viper now viper is probably like if you don't send me all your resources right now we're going to have Keller on Norway A next year. So MBL's like, okay, Viper, I'll make sure. I want to be on the team next year. Whatever you say, my captain. I'm sure that's exactly what happened. But um, but yeah, Viper's going to click up to Imp here soon. Look at those resources. And he will go for Obsidian Arrow Arbalest. So this forward castle from Draken's a little bit better now because it's pressuring the player who won't have defense for this. But... Do you, like, if you're in check B's position, do you expect Viper to now be a threat in Imp? Probably not. Obsidian Arrows, again, it gives the Arbalest line, not the Plume Darters. It's important that people know that. You see so many low elo legends making plumes when they get Obsidian Arrows. It affects the Arbalest and gives them extra damage against buildings. It's the strategy we kind of thought we were going to see. But we didn't know how that would play out. And I think the strategy certainly changed a lot for Viper when he got Tower Rush. MBL has just built about 30 houses on the front. Someone in Twitch chat said he'll still get housed. <laughs> that is ruthless. <laughs> and Viper is uh, 90 seconds away from Imp. Has a lot of military. Oh my god, what if he goes... How sick would it be if he just goes right into Draken's base and kills Draken? Like, he doesn't even need to deal with this. He can just bust down the walls and kill Draken with arps. That would be amazing. I don't know if Yezrus is paying attention to that scout. Oh, wait, was that a signal? Yeah, Yezrus just said, hey, buddy. Or, hey, hey, bro. You've got some crossbows coming to you. I think it's so cool that these two Czech players are brothers. I wish I could be as good as my brother. Obsidian Arrows on the way. The Viper is about 10 seconds away from getting the resources from MBL to get Arbalest and Bracer. Watch how fast. Watch how fast these buildings go down. This is so stupid. 
Three, four, five, six. It, it'd take like eight or nine volleys to take that out. I will say that Yezris could maybe clear this up before the upgrades come in. Yeah, Yezris could maybe... I mean, plus two on the Knights. This could be a good time to take the fight. See what Viper's Micro is like. And the longer you hold against the Sling, the better you are as a team. You'll see Czech now has more villagers. This is a great fight for Yezris. This is a fantastic fight. So now Draken gets to, to prep for the attack. And Viper's going to lose all these crossbows. And meanwhile, MBL is getting castle drop. This is winnable for Czech Republic B. The Czechs are like, you can't troll me. You can't troll me. Well, we know you can, but you can't troll me. And now MBL is like, Vipey, Vipey, I'm dying. You know, MBL is like, hey, I just sent you these resources. Save me. And now Viper's got to decide on, does he, does he take out the castle? What happens here? <laughs> Viper's got... Viper has more archery ranges than I have friends. Real talk. 14 archery ranges. This is ridiculous. I'm so jealous. Is that castle attacking the stone wall? Why is... Well, that castle's gone anyways. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That castle is halfway down already because of these units. This is sickening. And now it's going to be near impossible for Yezris to fight this with knights. He could fight the crossbows. But you can't fight this many Arbalest. There's not a single thing that they really have to counter those Arbs right now. Oof. MBL is still on 81 Vils. Yezris is at 83. This is unbelievable. Viper has um, 56 Arbs right now. And it's only 16 military for the entire Czech Republic B team. Is Yezris going to up soon? Yezris is about to click up to Imp, actually. Very close. Has the buildings. But now Draken could lose this castle. <laughs> this is one of the stupidest strats this game has ever seen, man. Like, Mayans were already super strong before Obsidian Arrows was given to them. But to combine that with the Saracen bonus is just unbelievable. Look at this. Oh my god. How do you counter this? Hey, I love how MBL added a ram as if that was needed. Like, here, Viper, let me help you. Let me add a ram. You know, something's off when siege units are worse than a, something firing arrows. Crazy. And I made... I talked about Viper's ranges. He's producing out of nearly every one. As he is now adding more. 95! 95 Orbalist! How do you counter the strategy? You can't even get Cavalier with armor against this, right? Because if you... How many Cavaliers would you need to fight 100 and... Yeah, 100 Arbs. You need like 60? 70? Alright, well... Draken's like, hey, uh, Viper's back. <laughs> the walls just disintegrate. <laughs> Woo! Woo, boy. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe Draken at this point could start... Oh, yeah, build a castle. That'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, maybe you start slinging all your resources to Yezriz. All right, the TC goes down. Now, the ca will the castle go up before it's completed? It will. Okay. Sorry, I misjudged that one. Rip to the castle. This is broken, man. Meanwhile, Yezris took an engagement, but Yezris doesn't have enough. A hundred and eleven are blessed. And I think it's safe to say that Norway are going to win game number two. Yezris is probably saying, let me play on because I'm about to get my upgrades. But my goodness, man. This might actually, like, does this not counter everything? I know there's a huge skill difference between the teams. But if you think about ways to counter Mass Arbalest, the main thing that comes to mind would be, uh, well, Paladins or Siege Onagers, probably. And I just don't know if you're going to have the time against this. How, how do you have the time? 
to get to the amount of units you need. All right, Draken's making a move. Draken, now, hey, he's found some stone and gold, so that's good. Also, Yezrus cleans this up. Viper now, well, still at 112 Arbalest, still receiving Sling. Though I don't know how much he needs right now. Okay, never mind, he needs it. He, uh, he barely has his own economy. And probably the biggest fight of the game. The first time we've had a competitive fight this game. And it still should be Viper that's favored because of the reinforcements, but you never know. It all depends on the melee pathing here. You see a lot of these Cav not able to get in to engage against that when Viper's on the wood line. Is Czech Republic holding? Yezris, kind of the no name. People did not know him. And suddenly, he's pushing back. Viper will lose these arbs. Viper does not have his own economy to rely on. It's not like MBL can just save him. Viper, he's got 34 villagers right now. So Draken has half of what Viper's eco is. I think if you can somehow get into MBL's base with Cav, that's the only way you win, though, if you're Czech. Like, you don't want to fight Viper in the choke. You need to send a group of 20 Cav and hope MBL has goofed up and hasn't rewalled. Because if you break into MBL's base, you use mobility and Viper has to save. But like, we just saw this and you're thinking, okay, okay, well, this is close. But then you forget that there were 60 more Arbalest in Draken's base. So now they're here. <laughs> they're not together though. And this group's going to get surrounded. Oh man, imagine if there was one or two Onagers here. How sick that would be. Wow. Still feels like there's too many Arbs. Viper will lose this group. Viper's still going to have this group. Viper still has production from his ranges. It's still 100 military units for him. I mean, if Berbers got Paladin, then maybe there would have been a chance there. Because Paladin would give a lot more HP and attack. My goodness. And Draken says, GG, well played. The GG's called. What a carry from MBL. The way that MBL walled built houses, and sent resources in that game was unbelievable. I don't think I've seen anything that ridiculous ever. MBL with the complete carry. I mean, look, just look at this. Look look at how much MBL outplayed the other team. 15,000 resources sent, and then Draken only sent 3,000. Whereas you can look at the KD, and Viper had less kills. I mean, what a carry from MBL. Um... Uh, <laughs> What a, what a ridiculous game, man. Uh, look at the timeline. What? What is that? That is unbelievable. Viper had as much military here than Yezra's had eco. Well, 37-58 game. It, it actually felt as though it was a lot longer for me. But it was a rather quick one. On the home map for Czech Republic B. All memes and jokes aside... Uh, very good strategy for MBL and Viper to use there. I don't know if top tier teams are going to be able to do that. Like, you probably want to have Mayans as a flank on open maps. You probably want the same for Saracens, but props to Viper and MBL for showing us that strategy at least. Um, I just remembered that Norway is in Team USA's group. Ouch.